In this video, I'm going to look at whether a regular shaft against a stiff shaft creates more slice spin. I had someone comment on a video that when you swing it really fast, a regular shaft compared to a stiff shaft slices more with a regular because the face gets left behind at impact and leaves the face more open to send the ball off to the right. I'm going to hit some different shafts and just see how correct or not correct that is. So I've got a Callaway Rogue ST Max which is a very forgiving driver and I'm going to use this puppy to have a look at different shafts in this test. So the shafts that I want to run through here, I've got a 10 side blue in regular, I've got a 10 side blue in stiff, and I've got a 10 side white in stiff. So I've got three different sort of profiles of shafts sort of blending upwards to get stiffer and softer there. And I've also got a lady shaft just to go the other end of the spectrum, just to see if this gives us mega slice, because in theory, that is what should happen. But will it? Right, I'm going to start mid table. I'm just going to start warming up with the stiff shaft, which is this one. So bearing in mind, this was a comment based based on someone swinging it really fast, I'm gonna swing this as fast as I can on every shot. Okay, so the setting I'm gonna go for on all of these is minus one degree neutral. First things first, I need to warm up. I went to the gym yesterday, so I'm a little bit stiff. Little bit of that. Little bit of that. That should get me going. All right. Tricks and Z Star Diamond. Right, I am warmed up. Let's get into the test. Right, I've got ball A, ball B, ball C. I have missed that target. Bit of a draw. 280 carry, 2600 spin, 161 ball speed, which I'm very happy with. 296. I mean, if I hit this left with a big draw in the stiff, I should get the regular and go further right than that, shouldn't I? Two seven three carry one fifty six ball speed two nine one. We go again. My intention is the same shot. Nice and straight. Makes a change. One five nine ball speed. Spin crept up to two thousand eight hundred, and we got two eight nine. Oh, big left. Terrible shot, 153 ball speed, 254 carry. So when you're trying to hit it flat out, you can't always be consistent, but then let's see if the shafts help or hinder that. Straight. 270 carry, 2700 spin, 156 ball speed. And we're at 285. Let's get the 10 side white in now, which is a slightly stiffer profile than the blue, but same flex. Stiffer profile, so it doesn't bend as much. It launches the ball a bit lower in theory on paper. Definitely feels more solid. 276, 2000 spin. So 158 ball speed, I've got 296 finishing distance. I do find this head very easy to draw. That's a smidge off the heel. But shouldn't a stiffer shaft go left easier? I know it did on the first shot, but was that strike? I think it was strike. Maybe strike mixed with a bad swing, but we're looking at the averages of everything. Horrible. Two seven five. Better swing. See, I put a good swing on it and I hit a good shot. One three hundred. One sixty ball speed, two six five carry because I had three thousand four hundred spin. Stiff against stiff, we've got two yards between it in carry, three yards between it in total distance. Right, let's get the mega slicey regular in there. Not 
not bad, not bad. I found that much easier to get through the ball. Felt like the club was releasing through the ball quite nicely. 297, 280 carry, not bad, not bad. 161 ball speed, that one, healthy. Okay, that's gone very far left. 283 carry, 1900 spin, 162 ball speed. It's a very healthy shot, albeit missing the target by miles. 304, that's actually my longest shot yet. It's just 77 yards offline. I've hit that a little bit high on the face. 260 carry, 3000 spin. Oh, that's very short. My ball striking's a bit mad today. Oh, it's because I'm trying to smash it. 4.9 offline. How many is that? One, two, three, two more. Big draw. 281 carry, 2700 spin, 163 ball speed. Healthy, 296. And similar sort of shot. 163 ball speed, 284 carry, 2600 spin, 300 yards. Nice. Very consistent pattern, draw, 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 draw. Okay, so how does that direction compare to the other two stiff shafts? I've got some progressive data here. I've got the regular, the stiff, and then the tensile white stiff, which is stiffer than the stiff blue. So progressively, I've got more distance with the regular, 295, and then it shortens with the stiffer shaft, 286, then it shortens again with the even stiffer shaft, 283. I would put that down to the ease of strike up here to create the ball speed. Going down here, the strike fell apart and the ball didn't go off as hot. Ball speed, not quite as progressive. We've got the fastest ball speed, 160 on average with the regular. Then we come down to here, 157, and then 158 with the stiffer shaft. Spin-wise, we're looking quite progressive. 2,800 with the stiffest, and then it goes lower, and then it goes lower again with the regular. Again, I'll kind of put that down to that strike being a little bit better and launching that ball a bit with a bit more draw spin, which tends to spin less anyway. Draw spin, we've got more draw spin with the regular. We've got an average of 649, then we've got 512, and then we've got 139. So as we get Get stiffer we get less draw spin launch angle wise we've got very similar between the stiff and the regular 15 8 16 3 so slightly higher with the stiff and then we go lower with the even stiffer tensile white and that's pretty much it really carry wise we've got more carry with the regular peak height we've got 45 yards 46 yards 43 yards so again we've got slightly higher one yard higher with the stiff and then we go to the tensile white and then we've got even lower even though there was a sky shot in there that went 51 yards the average is still 43 i hope this helps debunk that thought that a softer shaft gives more slice spin i pretty much guarantee based on the last 14 years that that is incorrect the lighter the shaft the easier it is to draw the ball so it's not slicing and the average direction off line correlates perfectly with the shafts as well. I've got the tensile white is 13 yards left. The tensile blue stiff is 23 yards left. And the tensile blue regular is 36 yards left. I've got more draw spin with a regular compared to a stiff. And I've got more left shot finishing compared to the stiffer shafts. Softer shafts do not slice more. I'm just going to wind down with a few shots with a ladies shaft. Just to see if the theory carries on. Because for that sort of swing speed a ladies shaft would not be advised because it bends too much but I just want to see if it slices or if it hooks. If anybody can find me a picture of a shaft at impact where the face is behind I will eat my hat. Every single picture has the shaft released through the ball. Has the shaft bending like that into impacts. Look at the long drive guys it's proper bending round. The softer the shaft is the more it releases through the ball. Right lady shaft how much can you slice? That is the opposite. It actually spins quite low. 2000 spin. Okay, it was probably because it drew a lot. Again, the same intention. I'm going through to that target with pace. Yep, that's what I would expect. High launch, high draw. 2800 spin, 158 ball speed, 284 yards. If you're slicing it more with a softer shaft, you need to look at your technique. I'm quite impressed.
impressed by this later shaft than I'm honest, but this head is very forgiving and it feels like it just flings the ball. Woo. Maybe a little bit too much. If you enjoy what you see, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.